Alright, Shalom. We want to start off by giving our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba Shem. Ba Shem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Ba Shem. Ba Shem. Rokal. Rokal. Kadash. Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect. This is Brother Yitazakah. We just gonna uh, go into uh, a quick one, quick hitter on um, having faith, man. All right, keeping your hope in the Lord, you know, uh, trusting in Yahweh Shem Al Shai. All right, so we're gonna start here in Romans 14, verse 22. This uh, Romans 14 and 22 has thou faith, have it to thyself before Yahweh by Shem Al Shai. Happy is he that condemneth, happy is he that condemn that. Condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. And he that doubteth is damned if he eat, because he eateth not of faith, for whatsoever is not of faith is sin. Okay, bro. Yeah, so it says, um, has thou faith? If you if if you have faith, you know, uh you supposed to uh have it to yourself before you have about you you're supposed to believe in him, you know. Happy is him he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he allows. So if you believe in Yahweh by Shimon Shai, you don't need no uh extra support. That's your support system. That's your place of refuge, man. All right. That's 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 your aid, you know, that's your hope. You don't need to uh depend on nothing else, you know. You 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 depend on Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Are right, you don't condemn yourself with that which you allow, like you uh allow yourself to uh you know believe in uh your gun, you know, believe in Esau uh, medication, you know, you allow yourself to believe in, uh, you know, uh, stacking up food or, you know what I'm saying, uh, extra clothing or, you know, some kind of uh, backup plan, you know, uh, any uh, kind of uh, device of this world, you, you, you allow yourself to depend on that and you condemn yourself within that, you know, you allow that, you should have just uh, trusted in your how about Shimei was shot, because why? It says, he that and he that and he that doubteth is damned if he eat because he he eateth not of faith for whatsoever is not of faith is sin right so if if, if you don't have faith in Yahweh Shem Yahshai if you don't have trust hope in Yahweh Shem Yahshai you um are are committing sin man all right you transgressing uh uh you transgressing the law Yahweh Shem Yahshai what it tell you in Romans six and twenty three the wages of sin are death you know so. If you don't uh, believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahshua that he that he can make things happen, are you 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 allowing your own self to be destroyed? You know. You had something, bro. Yeah, First Corinthians two and This is 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of Yahweh by Shimei Oshah. So, so your faith should stand in the wisdom of man. It shouldn't stand in, oh, well, um, if, I, if, I, if, I, uh, if I stockpile food, I should, it should last me for this amount of time. Or, or, if, uh, or if I go get my aim up, I'm gonna be good when when trouble hits. Anything outside of Yahweh Shimi Yashai, you put faith in. But everything outside of Yahweh Shimi Yashai is of man. Period. So you got faith in anything else outside of Yahweh Shimi Yashai, you you setting yourself up for failure. Every the only way. To, matter of fact, bro, you read again. Come. This First Corinthians chapter two verse five. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of man, but in the power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And you got a lot of people here. They, they, got, they got faith in their in weapons. They got faith in their jobs, their their money, their 401k, their their family. They got faith in um. They got faith in their food stamps, their house vouchers. They got faith in their uh their, their paycheck that come every week or every two weeks. They got faith in their car, their guns. They got faith in their in their own hands. All these things are sin. All these things are when you have faith in anything outside of Yahweh, you're going off. Okay, 
it going by going up, you're going against the Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay. And if you could jump to uh, 14. Okay. Verse 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh by Shemi Abishai, but they are foolish. You can grab the word. You can grab the word natural. Time. The word nat natural is uh, si 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 psychos or sikios sikikos, and it says having uh, of or belonging to the breath having the nature and characteristics of breath of the breath the principle of animal life when man have in common with the brutes governed by breath the sensuous nature with its subjection to appetite and passion Uh, in, in the strongest definition, God. it says, uh, animate in distinction on the one hand from G4152, which is the higher renovated nature, and on the other form, which is the lower of bestial nature, natural, sensual. And yeah, we go into the word natural. It says uh, governed by instincts of nature. Now, what's, now when, when, you, when you look at the, uh, so a natural man is going to go by things of his instincts of nature. And when you, when you look at uh, when you look at uh, Jeremiah seventeen and nine, this is the heart is deceitful above all things. I was and your heart is going to say it again. I, said, I was never mind. I was saying I got that, but <laughs> go ahead, Rose. Lucky. Like so, so your heart is going to go based on your, your natural instincts. That, that, that's what your heart is going to go by. Now, when, when you come into the truth, when you, when you come into your Habash Shemi Asha, we don't go by natural instincts. A natural instinct would tell you if, uh, if a man does something to you, you're going to do something back to him. That's what your natural instinct is going to tell you to do. But when you're in the truth, you can't move like that. It's, it's, uh, it's, rules, to, it's rules to this shit. And you you can't you can't break them, okay? You can say certain things like just just being in the world, just being corrupt. If uh, if a nigga uh, do something to you, you gotta do something back to that nigga, right? But you can't move like that in the world. I mean, uh, and you can't move like that in the truth. And that's what a natural man is going to do. He's going to cling on to that old man, uh, what he's been taught and raised up uh, naturally throughout what's in the world. And a natural, a natural, because a natural man doesn't perceive the things of uh, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Because first off, if you love, if you love the world, you're not going to receive the things of the spirit. You're going to be stockpiling food, stockpiling guns. You're not going to have faith. And when, when you align yourself in a carnal mindset, you're coming up against Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Yeah. To be carnally minded is death. Time. Yeah, this uh, First Corinthians chapter two, verse fourteen. I gotta hold on. Let me get a quick precept just to back up what you just said about uh, having that brutish uh, mindset real quick. Like uh, you uh, you thinking like an animal pretty much. You a beast, you know. This uh, Jeremiah chapter fifty one, verse seventeen. Every man is brute. Oh, so like, let me grab it. I was reading that. Um, Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 17. It says, Every man is brutish by his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for the mo his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. You know? So, and, and that's, it was just going into about how, uh, you know, uh, the natural man is of uh, 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 pretty much that which consists of, of, of breath. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, an animal, it breathes, it has breath, but does it have uh, faith and hope? 
and, and the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh by Shem that's that's what that's what uh, distinguishes uh, man from from beast. You know, so if you if you can't uh, if, if you don't have hope, faith, and, and trust in Yahweh by Shem and His law, statutes, and commandments, are you pretty much a beast? You know, and so it, so but it says every man is brutish by his own knowledge, by by his knowledge. You know, so. If if you depending on your own knowledge and your own wisdom, that makes you brutish. That makes you a beast, man. That makes you a natural man, you know. Hey, cause 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 the breath of life. What's the breath of life? That's this word, man. You know, that's this word. We'll go back to that first Corinthians. Two. So, First Corinthians chapter two verse fifteen. I mean, so like a fourteen. It says, "But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of Yahweh Shai, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned." Con. That's uh, Anna Carino, and it says, Examine or judge to investigate, examine, inquire into, scrutinize, sift, question, specifically in a forensic sense of a judge to hold an investigation to interrogate, examine the accused or witnesses, to judge of, estim estimate, determine. The excellency or defects of any person or thing. So, this is basically talking about uh, um, having discernment, being able to, 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 to distinct things and tell one from another. So, it says the natural man is not going to be able to do these things because you need the spirit, you need uh, the spirit to discern the spiritual things. And if you're a natural man, you cannot do that. That's why you can be put in certain situations and the natural man, he'll think like, all right, uh, Jacob Trouble is coming. I need this gun to protect my family. But a spiritual man that say, damn, Jacob Trouble is coming. I got to get out here and do the work of Yahweh by Shimei Al-Shai. That's the only way I'm going to be protected. And that's the difference between a natural man and a spiritual man. Yep. The faith. That's right. That's right. Yep. Uh, I got a quick one. God. This uh, uh, Proverbs chapter twenty-two, verse three. It says, "A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished." Yeah, bro. Con. So it says, a, a prudent man, he foreseeth the evil. Let me go into this word, prudent. You know? That word is Aram, Aram, and it means subtle, subtle, strewed, crafty, sly, sensible, crafty, strewed, sensible, prudent. Uh, so, uh, pretty much a, a sensible person, man. Are you? You got sense when you uh, have. Faith. It, it makes sense to have faith in your house. I see me outside. I Why? Because he controls everything. It don't make no sense to to trust in your own knowledge, man. Or you know, trust in anything outside of your house. I see me outside. You know, to have faith in anything outside of your house. I see me outside. That's not sensible, man. Why? Because that's sin. It tell you if you don't have faith, it's, it's, it's sin. So, and, you know, to, to transgress Yahweh Bashim Yahweh the law, statutes, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's sinful. You pretty much asking for death. But it says a, a, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide of himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. And you're simple if you're thinking like a beast, man. Are you thinking, uh, you you, you 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 don't think you 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 just trust in uh weapons you just trust in food you just trust in carnal means 
you know, you just thinking like a, a, a natural man think, man. You know, there's you 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 simple minded, man. You know, you 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 can't see outside the box. You know, and ultimately, nah. you know, you are gonna just end up being punished. You know, you condemn it that yourself in that thing which you allow of. You know. And he going to can I say, you read it again. Con, nah, it's Proverbs twenty two and three. It says, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. But the he said he hideth himself. Huh. So how do we, do you know how to, what's that talking about? He hide himself. Uh, that's, like, that's in uh, Isaiah 13. Mm -hmm. I think it's like, uh, probably 12. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 13, 12. Uh, Isaiah 13, 12. Uh, a man more precious than fine gold? Mm, is that what it says right there? Yeah, that's that one. Where it says all that, all that are found? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's uh, 15. This uh, Isaiah 13 and 15. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Now, people that are found are the people who are not going to be hit. Right. These are the people who didn't uh, take those precautions. They didn't, and the precautions right now is to have faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, do this work. Keep the laws, set the commandments, have that fear. Come on the highways and hedges. These are the people who are, are going to be hidden. They're the people that are uh, that are fearing Yahweh Hashem Yahshua and doing His work. Out like, for the men coming out here doing His work, they're going to be hidden. But you got uh, you got the other side, the two thirds. They're not going to be uh, prudent. They just going to uh, they just going to go just walk about and just keep doing whatever they got to do, being natural men. And they're going to be found, and they're going to be thrust through. Yep. Yep. Uh, I got another one to back you up on that. About the place where you had the hiding place. This uh, Psalm chapter 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You know? So... Uh, like like the art was saying, man, you know, uh, the the uh, the secret place of the Most High is is this word, man, is 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 having faith in Him, you know, hoping in Him, you know, trusting in His word, you know, putting on the full armor of the Lord, man, you know, like I speak about in Ephesians the sixth chapter, man, when it speak about the uh, you know the shield of faith, you know, uh, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, you know, this that's that's the secret place of the Lord, man. You know that's your protection, man. You know that's your hiding place. The the that that's that's uh is is this word, the way of Yahabashim Yahushua. Faith in his word in the way of Yahabashim Yahushua. You know, it says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So, if you under the shadow of the Almighty, that means that you you covered, man. You good, man. All right, that's your that's your roof, man. He gonna make sure you straight. Ain't that ain't nothing gonna crash in on you, man. All right, ain't ain't nothing gonna touch you. You know why? Because you abiding in the shadow of the Most High. You got faith in Yahweh Shimei Shah. You know. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna read that. I'm gonna read two, two. It says, "I will save the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shah. He is my refuge and my fortress. My power in Him will I trust." I'm gonna go into that word refuge. I'm about to say that too. Kind. <laughs> it's the spirit. It's uh, Makash. Makaish, and it says refuge. Um, look, look, bro. It says refuge, shelter from rain or storm, from danger. Woo! So, like, we, like I was just saying, you know, you you wanted to shadow your how about Shimei Shah? That's like your roof. You like in you in the secret place. He covering you, man. All right, so to where no no rain can get in on you. You know, you can't be the rain don't beat down on you, man. That's just like it's saying uh Matthew the seventh chapter when they talk about he who's uh founded his house upon the stone and the and, and, and he, he he do who didn't had that solid foundation and the rains come came and flooded and his house descended, you know, because you didn't build you didn't build it upon that stone. What's that stone? Yeah, how about Shimei you know? Huh. Yeah, that's 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 First Corinthians five and seven. Well, hold on, one real quick. Let me get this real quick. I'm gonna jump back because it said it said uh, rain and storm. You know, uh, that's Isaiah. 
So it said protection from rain and storm. Okay. So let's get these real quick, bro. This uh Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahabashim Yashar, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahabashim Yashar, shall lift up a standard against him. So there it go. It said, When the enemy come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahabashim Yashar, gonna lift up a standard against him, man. All right. So and that's and that's that danger, that's that rain. You know, that's that, that's that, uh, you know, that's that, um, that's pretty much that rain and the tempest, that flood, man. All right, that's that danger, you know, that's, that, that can come if, if you're not under the, uh, the shadow of the most high. But if you got protection, if you got refuge, if you got, uh, uh, aid, you know, that, that, that flood just can't overtake you. you why you trust, cause you trust in your, how about you outside? That's, that's a, a for sure. Or infrastructure right there can't nothing penetrate or pierce that you know you you trust in uh bullets you know that they can run out man you know you trust in uh a brick house you know that can be broken down you know yeah how about shim outside he is your standard when you hope in him let me get that word standard real quick get standard that's a uh a nuke nuke and it says to Look, it says to flee, to escape, to flee, to escape, to take flight, depart, disappear, to fly, to put to flight, to drive hastily, to cause to disappear, to vanish away. So, <laughs> yeah, how about, yeah, kind, kind, bro. Yep. You said uh, Second Corinthians five and seven. This uh Second Corinthians chapter five, verse seven, for we walk by faith, not by sight. John, we walk by faith, not by sight. I remember being younger in the truth when I first came in. I'm just looking around like, yo, this is crazy. A lot of people ain't getting this. Um, it's not getting no publicity. Um, maybe this is not the truth. Maybe it's not the truth. Now, sight, sight will tell you that. Sight will tell you that. But as you build up your faith, you start to see with your spiritual eyes. And you can start seeing all the prophecies come to happen. You can start seeing everything. Because the one validation of this whole truth is the things, the power of Yahweh shot, which is a, a prophecy. And look at all the things in the scriptures that already did happen. Our people going to slavery. Uh, Esau being a wicked, undeniable. Like it's, it's like it's damn near crazy to deny this truth. That's like denying that water is wet. You got to be out of your mind. Yep. But ultimately, we don't even walk by uh, we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Okay, and we got faith that this is the truth. That's right. If this ain't it, what is? Yep. yep. By Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. You see, the uh, earth has been given into the hand of the wicked. If, if not, where and who is he? You know, if, if, if this, if if the earth is not in the hand of the wicked right now, then where, where the hell is the wicked at? You know, what? Well, let's get Romans three real quick, bro. I'm gonna jump back to that. Just to back up what you just said. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 3. It says, For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? So since you people don't believe, does that mean that uh, nothing's going to come to pass? Because look at all people on the flood. They say, oh, no, you, you, you're talking that bullshit. It ain't going to flood, you stupid-ass nigga. It don't even rain, dickhead. Fuck you talking about it's gonna be a flood. Why you building a boat? We don't need no fucking boat. It's dry as hell out here. Huh. They didn't believe. What it say though? Yahweh Bashim Yahshah forbid. Yeah, let Yahweh Bashim Yahshah be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. 
Okay, bro. Huh? So yeah, like the, I said, for, let every man be alert. You know, just like he was bringing out the point uh, about uh, Noah. You know, when he was prophesizing of, of, of rain to come, and that's spiritual, because that's going into what we were just talking about. You know, uh, about that rain and that danger coming. You know, and he was building that ark, which we building that spiritual ark, which the spiritual ark is uh, faith in Yahweh by Shem man. You know, that's that that's the uh, that's that secret place. That's that uh. That's being hidden, you know. That's being hidden in the shadow of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, you know. And our people, they didn't believe that that impending rain and danger was going to come, you know. So when that rain and danger came, they didn't have that protection and that refuge. Why? Because they didn't have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, and that's that's parabolic and symbolic for uh, us uh, here in in this day right now, you know. We have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahushua in these words. You know that uh, all these uh, prophecies are going to come to pass, and that uh, destruction is going to come, and only those who uh, have faith in Yahweh Hashem are going to be delivered. You know, this, this is why it says, "This is why it says, and might is overcome when thou art judged, man." All right, because how are we going to overcome when 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 judgment comes? Do do our faith in Yahweh Hashem That's that's it. You know. I'm gonna jump back to that second Corinthians real quick. Well, they just get James two nineteen. Okay, kind. This uh James chapter two, verse nineteen. Thou believest that there is one power, thou does as well. The devils also says, believe and tremble. So it says, it says, it, it says you, you believe it on Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. Good job. Good job. Give you a, give you a round of applause. Then it says, but the devil believes too. Because a lot of y'all here thinking, I'm just a believer. I'm just a believer. But that faith can't save you alone. That faith's not going to save you alone. Like I said, you can't believe. You need to believe. That's why they're making the moves they're making, because they do believe. They know the, uh, the chariots are coming back. They believe that. They got faith too, on the left-hand side. So you're not going to get saved on faith alone. Faith is, uh, is a big part, but you need the faith with the works. And you're not getting it on your ass, on the keyboard, on Instagram. It's got to be boots on the ground, bro. Boots on the ground. Matter of fact, I think it started at 15, or I tell you, uh, can faith save them? I think it's 215. Uh, uh, 2 and uh, 14 This uh James 2 and 14 What doth it profit my brethren Though a man may say he have faith And have not works Can faith save him Yeah bro Yeah so like the art was saying You know what I'm saying Uh, The the, the key is to have faith in you How about see me outside in this word Yeah that's 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 good. That's cool. You know what I'm saying. But uh, ultimately, uh, you know, even uh, Esau and these heathen have faith in Yahweh by seeing outside in these prophecies, man. All right, they they know this is real. Well, you just had uh, Iran. I don't know if you seen that video when Iran was shooting those laser beams at their chariot, and it was just yeah, man. You know, so these 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 heathens believe and know that this is real man they know these prophecies are real there's a video uh surfacing on youtube about what do you do if you get swallowed up by a whale you know what i'm saying proving that that story of, of jonah being in the well uh the belly of a uh, whale for three days and, and three three nights really happened man you know they really happened you know so you you can uh you we we these heathens even have faith to believe that these things are real. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua will show you signs to give you faith to believe in Him and in these prophecies and His word. All right, but is that enough? No. Ultimately, you gotta uh, add, you gotta add works to go with that faith, man. All right. And what's what's a part of some of your works, man? All right. If you really got faith, you gonna do the work of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You gonna do what He told you to do. You know, which is hit the highways and the byways. You know, follow the law, statutes, commandments to the best of your ability. Be brother. Be brotherly. You know, live by patience and hope. You know, uh, 
you know, uh, be the best servant you can for your how about see me outside in the Saints, man. You know, you going you gonna put in the work, man. You to to show you believe, man. All right, you gonna show you believe by putting in your work, man. You know, cause cause faith alone can't save you, man. That's just that's not just gonna it's not just gonna get it just cause you say you believe you're gonna be saved. Even, like 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 I said, even these heathens have faith, but they these heathens not offer repentance. They not gonna be delivered, man. All right, so obviously that's not enough, man. You know, obviously that's not enough. You you had some more, bro. You had some more precepts. What's the last one for that one? I got like two more, and then we can wrap it. Let me get this in Proverbs. 14 and 26. This uh Proverbs chapter 14, verse 26. In the fear of the Lord, Yahabashim al Shah is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. You know? So uh let me get that word confidence, bro. The word confidence is uh muf Muftak, Muftak, and it says, confidence, refuge, act of confiding, object of confidence, uh, security, state of confidence, security, you know, uh, confidence, hope, sure trust, assurance. So, uh, if you fear Yahweh by Shimei Shah, which we know these heathens scared of Yahweh by Shimei Shah, man. All right, even even like like I said, these heathens, they know uh, they got faith in in Yahabashim Yashab, which shows that they fear. That's why they making these space. They just got it on the left hand side. That's why they making the space force and trying to prepare for our Lord Yahabashim's second coming, man. All right, so they 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 put in the works to go with their faith because they got confidence and hope and trust that Yahabashim Yashab gonna do what he said he gonna do. All right, so you gotta have that on the right hand side because why? Because it says. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. Why? Because these heathen, they not the, the children of Yahabashim Yahusha right now is the elect, man. You know, really the, the elect. But we know the whole nation of Israel is the children of Yahabashim Yahusha. You know, and you if these heathens fear Yahabashim Yahusha and put in works together to prepare for their fear for Yahabashim Yahusha on the left hand side. You got to do the same thing on the right hand side you know what i'm saying why so you can have that place of refuge man that protection man you know from from the from the incoming danger you know God. then i end it right here bro this psalms 33 and uh seven i think it's 18. uh yeah con this uh psalm chapter 33 verse 18 Behold, the eye of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahusha, is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. Uh, so Yahabashim Yahusha, his eyes are, are upon them that fear him and have mercy in him. What was the last one? It says, uh, hope in him, right? Yeah, upon them that have hope in his mercy. Right, and that's what we do this work for. Because we want to have, uh, uh, we got hope in Yahabashim Yahusha, and we. And we open for his mercy because, bro, you can go to that word mercy. God. It's, uh, Kassad. The word is Kassad. And it's, uh, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, uh, pretty much, uh, in the strongest definition is saying, uh, by implication towards Yahweh, piety, uh, beauty, favor, good deed, loving kindness, mercy, pity. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it on that. And that's what we hope to see from Yahweh, Shimei, and and pity. Because we have transgressed. We do deserve death. All right. Brought to the verse. Gosh, I like it, brothers. I'm going to read it one more time. This uh, Psalm chapter 33, verse 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord, Yahabashim Yahushah, is upon them that fear him, upon them that hope in his mercy. 
And right, we're, 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 hope, we're hoping on his mercy to get that pity. One, we, we're not even prepping for Jacob's show. We know it's coming. We're not prepping for it. Not physically, but spiritually prepping for it. And then, and, uh, and then this, this preparation, this spiritual preparation, we're hoping to receive uh, uh, mercy and pity from Yahweh Hashem Yahshua for the, for the things that we've done in the past and also uh, a reward for our faith for not preparing physically, having faith and putting all our trust into him. And we know Yahweh, he, he never forsaken anybody who put their trust and faith in him wholeheartedly. That's, there's nobody who can uh, make that claim. Mm-hmm. It can't be done. Yep. Nobody can do that. Yep. Can't nobody say, yeah, he did me wrong. I put my faith on him. You get not one man on earth or ever to walk the earth. They can never say that. It can't be done. Well, let me get there for and, you real quick since you said that. <laughs> uh, I got to get there for you real quick. It's uh, Sirach chapter 2 verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see did ever any trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or of whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Yeah, bro. Yeah, so like the like the art was saying, man, you you can't name that one person that's trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and all faith, hope, and sincerity, you know, and uh had and fear Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and you know. Uh, showed that through his actions and his works and was forsaken by Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. You can't name not one person, man. All right, so that's that that's gives you that gives you uh incentive to you know have more faith in him, to be strong in your faith and your hope in his mercy. Why? Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is full of tender mercies. All right, who's ever uh trusted in him and had faith in him and been confounded, you know? Time, bro. Yep. Then I got a little bit more in this Psalms 33, bro. All right. Uh, verse 19, it says, To deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. You got it. Yeah, so like the Ot was saying, like, uh, we know Jacob's trouble coming, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're not uh, hasty to, to make uh, preparations for that, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not, uh, you know, uh, trying to, you know, get our... Uh, martial arts skills up you know we're not trying to fucking uh you know uh stop stockpile canned foods and you know uh make sure we got uh medical kits and a a, a bug out bag you know what i'm saying we're not uh learning how to uh do military tactics and learning survival tactics you know we're not uh uh you know, getting guns and, 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 and ammo and going to the shooting range. Okay, we're not uh, we're not uh, reading books on on how to survive uh, through uh, a, a nuclear holocaust or something. You know, we're not. You know, what I'm saying looking at uh, how to. Uh, you know, we we're not looking into our own means, our own carnal means to be protected from uh, the 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 wrath. And, and uh destruction that's coming upon this place, man. All right, what 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 preparation are we making with that? We 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 having faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and hoping in His mercy, and we put in works behind that faith to show that you know what I'm saying we have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai and hoping His mercy, man. We just hope that He accept our sacrifices, man. You know, which is our faith in our works, man. All right, your faith in your works ain't 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 nothing outside of believing in Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. You know, and, and, and putting in the work for y'all by seeing outside. That's it. You know, it's simple. It says, uh, verse 20, our soul waiteth for the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei Aosha. He is our help and our shield. And that's what we got trust in Yahweh by Shimei Aosha to be our shield. Because we, like, 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 we just, like we were just getting into, we don't, we not stockpiling no weapons or, or nothing. And it's shields for protection. We're, 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 we're uh, expecting and hoping for Yahweh Hashem Yahshua to be our uh, protection from everything. Everything that's going to come. Esau, the famine, the pestilence, our people, uh, the Leviathan, the chariots and missiles, everything that's coming. We are, we got hope and faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahshua that he's going to uh, protect us through all of that. 
Dog, let me get the shield right. real quick. Go ahead, bro. My fault. Keep speaking. My fault. I was just going to say, uh, but who else are going to pick up Justin? He saw. He don't even fucking like us. There's, there's nobody else to pick our trust in. Right. Right. Let's get this right here real quick. Above all, this Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, so like you. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You got it, bro. Yeah, so like I just said, uh, Yahweh Shemel Shah, he, he is our shield. And what shield is that? That's the faith in Yahweh Shemel Shah. And what's, what's that, what that shield of faith going to do? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, man. All right, so anything that uh, these principalities, Satan and his, his minions throw at us, you know, uh, Esau and his minions throw at us, you know, uh, which pretty much is Satan and his minions, you know what I'm saying? Uh, anything that's thrown at us, you know, uh, we're, we're going to quench that. We're going to be able to uh, stop that fire what through our faith and you how about she may outside by she recall Kadash, man. You know? That's that's that shield, man. You know. Time, bro. Go back to Psalm 33, it's just two more on there. This Psalm chapter 33, verse uh 21. For our heart shall rejoice in him because we have trusted in his holy name. Chips, we put all our chips on your by Shimei Osha, man. Uh, we betted the house on on, on your by Shimei Osha, you know. And what? And the back of what you were just saying too, you know about the name, you know what I'm saying. Uh, it tell you in Proverbs 18 and 10 that the name of the Lord is uh, uh, uh Let me just get it so like y'all want to misquote it. Proverbs 18 and 10. Oh yeah, I know how it goes. So like, I'm gonna just get it real quick. Proverbs 18 and 10. It says, "The name of the Lord Yahweh Shimei Shah is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe." <laughs> so, that's and what's and what's that uh strong tower? That's that place of refuge, man. All right. It said the righteous run into it and are safe, man. All right. Those who gonna be that's that's that standard, you know. That's that that's our hope and our faith. You know, and it comes through the name of your house by Shem Shah. Cause what you gonna do when trouble come on to you, man? What you gonna you you ain't like like the I said, we don't got nobody else to call on. We're gonna call on Yahweh by Shem Shah by Shem We ain't gonna call on Esau. We're not gonna call on Smith and Weston. We're not gonna call on uh fucking no karate kick. Alright? We're gonna call on Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. You know? Let's go back to Psalms. There's one more here, then we wrap it up. This uh, Psalm chapter 33, verse 22. Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshah, be upon us according as we hope in thee. You got it. Yeah, so it says, Let thy mercy, O Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahshah, be upon us according as we hope in thee. And that's why we hope in Yahweh Shem Yahshah with everything we got. That's why we got faith in Yahweh Shem Yahshah with everything we got so that his mercy can be upon us with everything that we got within us, man. You know, that's why our faith and our hope got to be strong in Yahweh Hashim Yahshah. Why? Because that mercy is going, that's, that's the mercy that's going to return to us according to the faith and the hope that we have in him, man. You know, 
Lord willing. But yeah, that's it. You had anything more, bro? Ecclesiastes 214. That's the rock. Come on. Come on. Let me grab that real quick. It says, Woe unto you that have lost patience, and what will ye do when your house shine? Y'all about to see me outside, so I'll visit you. Yeah, bring it, out one, bring it out one more time. I'll grab it, it real quick. It says, Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when your Abashumi Ashad shall visit you? Yeah, so woe unto you who have lost patience, man. All right. That woe means death destruction, man. All right. So death and destruction that to you if you have lost patience in your Abashumi Ashad. If you lost that hope in your Abashumi Ashad. If you tired of waiting and believing in your Abashumi Ashad, man. All right. When shit get real, you don't want to continue to have faith in your Abashumi Ashad, man. All right. You you act like your Abashumi Ashad owe us something, man. All right. You know, yeah, how about see me outside? We owe you how about see me outside? Everything he don't owe us nothing, man. Are we just hoping that he 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 will show us mercy, man, and deliver us from you know what's what's coming? All right, we know that his promises. He said he was going. He got a remnant that he was going to deliver, man. All right, I can tell you in Malachi uh, three and six. Uh, behold, I I am uh, uh for I am the Lord. Yeah, how about see me outside? Uh, I change not. Therefore, your sons of Jacob are not consumed, man. All right, so the the remnant. All right, the the late men are right, those who keep their patience in the faith, and you have Bashim outside. They're gonna be delivered. Why? Because he he made a promises that he, a promise that he was gonna deliver a uh, a remnant, man. Or right, he has seven thousand men who have not bowed to the knee to the image of Baal, man. All right. So we know that there's men who's gonna uh who's gonna be delivered. All right, we have faith in that, man. All right, so we're not gonna lose patience no matter what's going on, man. All right, because if you do, what you gonna do when the visit when the Lord Yahweh about shall, shall visit you, man? All right, because if you ain't got that hope and that faith, well, it tell you that faith without faith is impossible to please Yahweh about shall, man. You know, so you're not gonna you you're not gonna. It said he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, man. All right, so you're not gonna be rewarded if you're not diligently seeking him and having faith in him, no matter what, man. What what's gonna happen? Whoa, destruction coming to you, man. You know. That was it, though. You had something else, bro? Nah. All right, well, with that, we want to give our praises to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bashem. Bashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bashem. Bashem. Rakal. Rakal. Kadash. Kadash. Double honors to the apostle and elders of great millstone who were well. And peace and salutations to the house of David. Shalom to the elect. Shalom.